What up, my dude? So we got MXGP Pro versus MXGP 2019. Now that we finally have both of the games out, wanted to come in here and really take a deeper look at both of them and the comparisons of them. And I really think this is a quite quite needed video quite especially for somebody like me that really gets nitpicky on some of this stuff really criticizes it in certain ways i wanted to go back and really get into the games get back into mxgp pro and really feel the differences like firsthand you know what i'm saying really see it to believe it not just like be thinking back to the way i thought it was or whatever you know what i mean even though i've been playing mxgp pro like for videos you know all the way through it it ain't like it's been a year since i played mxgp pro you know what i'm saying i've been playing it quite a bit just for videos and stuff like that still so it's not that far off my mind as far as like a memory sense but um i wanted to come in here and get on the same track try to be on the same tracks in both the games so we'll go to this same track in mxgp 2019 here in just a second that jump right there that I just hit right there, I swear to God, felt bigger than any jump in the entire MXGP 2019 game, like, period. <laughs> Even this right here. You see that right there? See how I actually got airtime off of that? Well, that's something that doesn't even exist in MXGP 2019, so I want to just make that really clear. Um, and it's really bizarre, but, like, basically... In, in a weird way, like MXGP Pro, you know how it came out a year before MXGP 2019, obviously. Um, theoretically, like MXGP Pro should have been like a combination of MXGP 2019 and MXGP Pro. You know, it should have been a combination of the two games is what should have been in MXGP Pro versus this weird split you know, all this weird stuff they're kind of doing with that. So let me explain myself here. So basically what I'm saying by that is, dude, I can already tell you the airtime you get on MXGP Pro is literally double, it feels like, than MXGP 2019. But anyways, let me try to stay focused here, okay? So with MXGP Pro, right, you know how it came out after the first Supercross game, which had a track editor in it, so you would only suspect, like, okay, they finally put a track editor in the Milestone games in a Supercross game, and then after that game, like, however many months later, five, six months later, MXGP Pro comes out, you would just, you know, logically think, like, oh, yeah, bro, it's probably going to have a track editor, now they're going to start doing track editors. No. MXGP Pro, no track editor whatsoever to speak of, none at all, no track editor. So realistically like mxgp pro should have had the track editor that mxgp 2019 has in it right now right and mxgp 2019 should have a track editor twice as deep and extensive as what it has you understand what i'm saying we should have already had this like bare bones super basic you know you know, first off motocross track editor, the first outdoor motocross track editor that Milestones put into the game, all that, all of that, like first starting, you know, very simplistic, very basic motocross outdoor track editor should have been in MXGP Pro, right? And at this current point with MXGP 2019, we should already be to that point to where it's that way more extensive motocross track editor, way more track pieces, elevation, all of that kind of crap should have for sure 100% been an MXGB 2019. There's really, I don't even know how you can really debate that. Like, but see, they trick you in the sense of they don't put it in MXGP Pro, the game it should have been in. So then you wait another year, they put it in MXGP 2019, you finally get it, and then it's like, oh, well, you know, the biggest defense of it is like, oh, well, it's their first outdoor track editor. I mean, you can't expect that much, right? You know what I'm saying? But that's not how it actually fucking is. They should have had it in the game before, and what we should have had now is what all of us are wanting. You know, the elevation changes, the roughness pieces, the rut pieces, inside rut pieces, different dirt compounds changing lighting effects all this kind of stuff you know but it's just not that way right and and with him actually be pro trying to go down the more like quote unquote realistic route whatever the hell you want to call that um really it should have had 
like that realistic, more realistic, easier to pop off system and all that. But in combination with the way that the physics feel in MXGP 2019, right? Like what MXGP Pro should have been was a perfect like mixture between MXGP Pro and MXGP 2019 in every way, right? So it should have took the track editor of MXGP 2019. It should have had more of the physics of MXGP 2019, but not quite that far of like arcadey and easy, right? It still should add some of the pop-off system of MXGP Pro, some of the little bit more difficult systems of MXGP Pro, but obviously nowhere near to the to the level of what it was on MXGP Pro, like popping off off of a little five-foot double and sliding out of every single corner and all the weird shit that happened when MXGP Pro first came out, and this is after they've updated it quite extensively, right? That's the version I'm playing right now is the after updated over and over and over MXGP Pro, right? Um, so let me go get on this track on MXGP 2019. We'll continue this conversation, boys. Okay, so here we are in MXGP 2019 with the same rider, the same track, same weather conditions, same everything, all right? And uh, so let me just try to kind of compare within the same individual track. I don't know what it is about MXGP 2019. I, I just don't know exactly even really how to, to pinpoint this whole, like, more gravity to the game. It's it's like you're, the rider is way, it, 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 it's so weird trying to even explain that if you don't really know what I'm talking about, but it's like more gravity, more, It's it honestly feels like, the dirt's got more friction to it, so you're not able to go as faster right off the bat, right? On the same track that I was on before, I can tell you that right off. Like, I'm, I'm going at least 25% slower just from the, the more friction of the dirt, which then therefore makes it to where you can get a lot less speed going up to a jump face, therefore getting less air time. But not only that... Every single one of the jump faces feel like all of the jumps are rolled off compared to MXGP Pro. Like there's no peak to anything. There's no peak to any jump. Everything's just rolled off. So if it's like a downhill little single jump, instead of jumping down the hill, now you just sort of roll and never even really come off the ground and you just stay on the ground all the time. It feels like you're never coming off of the ground. And this something I'm noticing right now just with the bike, right? It, it honestly kind of feels like there's there's a little bit less movement. I, I don't know. I mean, and obviously it's going to be that way because this is not trying to be like a pro, you know, the next level, um, you know, like the pro physics or whatever, which come to find out they weren't really super pro physics in MXGP Pro, but this has got just way more of a like stationary uh, not as much like movement on the bike. It doesn't really look like, which therefore makes it look a little bit more like, I don't know. I guess you could say the animations look a little bit more natural, a little bit more like smooth, but everything is just slower. Everything's like running at a slower pace. Your speed on the ground is slower. Um, like how quick you're turning, how much you're moving, how much you're moving around and stuff like that is slower. Everything's slower, right? Which can give it a really bizarre feeling when you go from like MXGB Pro back to this game. Obviously, all the tracks in general are also more narrow. Um, so with MXGB Pro, it's it's like it just restricts you with the on track in a lot of different ways. Like the more friction makes you go slower right? The rolled off jumps makes the jumps have literally zero fun factor to them. And, um, the, the more narrowness, a little bit more cramped down actual scaling of the game, uh, you know, restricts you even more in every other way. And all three of those things that I just said about MXGB 2019, they all like go together too. So it's like the jumps being rolled off plus the more friction to the dirt, less speed plus um, the tracks being a little bit more cramped down, all of that comes together to make a pretty much twice as boring of an experience, really, 
in my opinion. Like, you don't feel like you're really going that fast. You're not really jumping off the ground. You can't get enough speed to even jump off the ground. Too much friction. The jumps don't even have enough peak to them, even if you could get enough speed up to them. But at least they'd be a little bit more fun, right, if there wasn't quite as much friction. If, if the tracks weren't so much more cramped down and so much more narrow, you could get even more speed. You could sweep your corners even wider. You could go even faster and jump even farther and build up even more speed in the corners and hit these whoop rollers and shit like that with even more speed. See what I'm saying? You guys see what I'm saying about the difference between MXGP Pro and MXGP 2019. It, it's just, it's literally just twice as boring. There's really no other way to say that. Um, and I don't know, but the whole like right in front of me, you guys know this track right here. It's like really famous for that huge rock side over there um, right behind me, right? For whatever reason in this game, you all, it's almost like you don't even really notice it. It's kind of bizarre. I mean, you do, but you don't because like I said in my compound video, this game's got way more of that effect where everything out in the distance just looks like a blur. It's like they've just added a blur effect to literally everything out in the distance. So what that does, it makes it to where you almost don't even really notice that huge rock face over there to the left. And plus they put a shitload of trees up to it to where it's like you don't even feel like you really even see it. It is super bizarre, whereas, like, you really seem to notice it more in MXGP Pro. Like, the actual environment seems more seems more real to me on MXGP Pro. Obviously, the graphical fidelity is not quite as, you know, clean and sharp as it is in um, MXGP 2019. It's slightly better in MXGP 2019, but... I don't know. I just like the way it looks better in MXGP Pro. To be completely honest with you, I like the speed filling on the bike better in MXGP Pro. I like the wideness and scaling of the tracks better. I like the jumps better on MXGP Pro. Um, the only thing that you can really say is all that much worse in MXGP Pro is really the whips. Um, and the slightly more janky sliding out in the corners of MXGP Pro, um, you know, but like the, and the funny part about that is, is at least with MXGP Pro, you can actually hit a jump and come off of the ground more than two feet to even throw a whip. It's like just because MXGP 2019 has better whips, it don't really make all that much of a difference when you can't even get off of the fucking ground in this game, dog. It literally defeats that entire like purpose like you see what i'm saying um but you, you can obviously tell they've they've like went back to the the whole other polar opposite end of skill gap with mxgb 2019 Okay, so just for the fun of it, I wanted to come in here and give a direct comparison on the Supercross track, the one and only singular Supercross track in MXGP Pro to the one and only singular Supercross track in MXGP 2019, right? A whole motocross game, AAA game that only has one tiny little baby Supercross track on it. I don't give a fuck what kind of game it is. That's unacceptable, period. Stop trying to defend that. I don't I don't understand that at all. You couldn't put three super cross tracks in here? <laughs> like really? Would that would have really killed you, Milestone? In MXGB 2019 or MXGB Pro? Like you couldn't put three. You could only put one. It's called lazy, motherfuckers. It's not called, oh, it's a national, it's a national game. It can't have super cross. No, it's being lazy, okay? That's all it is. Stop defending just to defend. Stop doing that. So either way, what I was going at was the whole, you know, MXGB 2019. It's like they're going totally to the other polar opposite end of the skill gap range, right? So like, you know how the games like back in MXGP 3 were pretty easy, right? Like, um, you know, the game's pretty easy. You didn't have to really think when you were jumping. You weren't really going to pop off the bike. You weren't really going to slide out in the corners. Like, nothing was ever really going to happen. You were just on the gas and just playing the game. You were never really going to wreck. That's kind of how the, these milestone games have always been. Well, with MXGP Pro, you know, Pro Physics, they go so far to the realm of, like, 
it's almost kind of sort of like a simulator, but not really. It's like a wannabe simulator, but not really, because it's like this weird, like an arcade motocross game and a simulator had a baby, but it like came out deformed. Like, I, I don't know what, what was going on with MX Chibi Pro. Um, but you got to understand, like, it was this very weird, bizarre thing that they produced. Well, anyways, what I'm trying to get at here is with MX Chibi 2019, it's like they've went totally backwards totally back to the whole like super arcade never wreck on anything every jump is so easy you would never wreck on it you never even have to think twice about how you're hitting anything you would never over jump something and pop off or under jump something in case something that's how mxb 2019 is it's like you're playing a super easy way too easy arcade motocross game again they went way too far back to that realm again i don't know why they did that if you're going to get to this point of mhgp pro then it becomes tweaking this feeling you don't ever go back to where you were whether that be jump size skill gap whether that you know you're going backwards milestone how do you not realize that like you're going backwards you can't do that at this point See what I'm saying? And the, the weird part about it and the crazy part about it is there was a lot of people that considered MXGP Pro the worst milestone game ever. I mean, that was like highly, highly uh, agreed upon by the community, I would say. It, you know, a lot of people really considered MXGP Pro the worst milestone game ever of all time, right? And the thing you always have to remember is it was so different whenever it first came out, right? They've made so many changes, so many updates. So if you go play MXGP Pro now, it's not going to feel as bad as what it once did, right? When this shit first came out, it was, it was insanity. I mean, you were literally popping off on every little thing you um it was like slide out in every corner right they they've definitely kind of melded it way more towards the the original milestone like standard physics but it's like how can you come out with an mxgb 2019 game and you feel like you're barely even coming off of the ground right at least with mxgb pro at least you're coming off of the ground on the jumps you know, if you hate every other aspect of the game, at least you're coming off of the ground. I can't explain how fucking big of a deal this is whenever it gets to where every single track in a certain motocross game feels like you are literally coming two to three feet off of the ground, dog. And the friction is so high on the dirt that you can't even get enough speed to even feel like you're going fast to even jump anything anyways. Even if it did have a peak on it in MXGP 2019, at least with MXGP Pro, the, you know, like w considered the worst milestone game ever, like it was so bad. Oh my gosh. At least it had adequate jumps, jump size and peakness on the jumps on the little Supercross compound track. At least you could get off the ground. This jump I'm hitting right here, if you can find a jump that big in MXGB 2019, you're a god. Like, literally, over the whole entire game, if you can find a jump that big, and there's literally, like, three jumps of that size just on this Supercross compound track of MXGP Pro. And it's literally, like, there may be one track with one jump in MXGB 2019 that has that size on it. I don't even know what the hell is going on with that. Um, but you thought MXGP Pro was the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> no, you were mistaken, my dogs. MXGP 2009, and I thought it was the bottom of the barrel, right? Just to make that clear, I thought MXGP Pro was the bottom of the barrel. No, MXGP 2019, I feel like, is worse than MXGP Pro. I really, really honestly do. Um, you just can't get over the the jumps and the just like going backwards on the skill gap and the way too simplistic nature and simplistic track designs and such a lackluster compound nothing really new to the game you know every new game every new milestone game that comes out the more and the more you have to be critical on the repetitive nature of it you understand what i'm saying so like for instance with mxgp2 or MX should be three, you can't be nowhere near as critical on the things that they do over and over and over, like the track designs, the the one compound, or the, you know, whatever it is, the content, or the, the whatever, the customization, or whatnot, right? You can't be nowhere near critical back in the days of MX should be two and three as you can now, 
now that we are seven games deep, now it's just like it's so far beyond the realm of unacceptable that it's just mind baffling how people still can try to defend it. I mean, that jump right there, at least there's some jump to it. At least there's a peak to it. I'm not saying it's like an awesome, really big jump. Like, oh my God, MXGB Pro just has the most perfect jumps in a motocross game or the best jumps in a motocross game. But at least you come off of the fucking ground. At least I can say that about it. <laughs> like, damn, dude, you can't even come off the ground in MXGB 2019. Because of the higher gravity, the higher friction, the cramp down track designs, you can't hardly even, you feel like you're in slow motion in MXGB 2019. You feel like you're barely moving. You're barely jumping. You're barely doing anything. You're, you, you're literally a slug on MXGB 2019. Like, how did you think that was going to be acceptable, Milestone? Really? Really? Come on, dog. Like, it's just... <sighs> in every new thing, every little positive you might even remotely be able to take... From MXGB 2019, every little bit of that, and I'm talking every little bit of it, the more free whip design, the track editor, the um, slightly less, you know, just turning in a corner and instantly popping off, or the not as janky of a pops off system as what we had, at, especially at the beginning of MXGP Pro, right? All the little positives you could take out of MXGP 2019, the game, should have already been done in MXGP Pro. That's literally my whole point to this entire video. Like, they've literally gave you the runaround. They've literally scammed you in the sense of, I feel like it's to that point to where it's so apparent and it's so right in front of your face and the evidence is just everywhere that I don't even see how you can even disagree with what I'm saying because it's fundamentally factual differences in the games. Like, whenever I say the jumps are twice as small, you barely come off the ground, every jump is rolled off, all, all of these things that I'm saying like that, how can you disagree with that? It, it is what it is. It's no longer just like, oh, my opinions, you know, Spencer Charlie's got his opinion on it. It's not even opinion shit anymore. Milestones to the point where they're doing such shitty backwards, you know, going backwards with the game design and the track designs that it's not even opinionated anymore. It's not even like, oh, well, I think that it's like this way. It is. It is that way. It's not even op open your eyes. Just look at it. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? You know what I'm saying? Just look at it, boys. <laughs> just look at it. Look at the difference in the jumps of this than the track that I was just on in MXGB Pro. The game that came out a complete year before. Look at the difference in how much I'm like barely coming off of the ground. Now, is it a lot in the track design itself? Yeah, it is. It's a lot in the... The, j the jumps are just small, just in general. They're all smaller, yes, but it's not only that, it's also like a, they're also more rolled off, but then I also think there's another level to that where I think there's actually more gravity to the physics of the game. I, I literally do think that's an aspect of it as well. Like there's this weird, you feel like you're more of a slug, pinned to the ground kind of gravitational pull that you have in the game. Um which maybe they're trying to do that to combat the floaty physics and air physics feeling of the game or whatever, but they're doing it to the point to where you feel like you're literally like a, you're like, you're driving a, you know, Humvee versus a Ferrari. That's kind of the difference in, you know, not literally, but I'm trying to make an example. Like, you know, you're like, drive, you're, you're, you feel heavier. You feel, the movements feel heavier. They feel sluggier. Like the jumping in the air is heavier, sluggier. All of that is just the way it is, but that's just the feeling of the bike. And then on top of all that, the track design is what I'm saying. You know, both those things come together to where not only is it more gravity, more friction, less speed in MXGB 2019, but it's also the track designs are way more lackluster, way more smaller jumps. Every jump's rolled off. And I know I keep kind of harping on the same point here, but you, you have to realize how critical this is to a motocross game. And it's so crazy how... I can go back and literally pinpoint like one aspect of pretty much every single one of these milestone games that basically kills the game. Just one aspect, right? Which is so detrimental to that one individual game, right? You can go back to, let's just say, 
the first Supercross game, right? The detrimental aspect to that game was the fact that there was literally only Supercross tracks in it. And not only that, but only the in-stadium series Supercross tracks, those were the only tracks in the entire game when that game first came out. No compound, no free ride, no enduro, no trail, no nothing. Nothing. No motocross tracks. Literally, the... 17 whatever rounds of Supercross tracks, that was all there was when the first Supercross game came out. To me, that was detrimental because of the that was literally one fourth of the content of what you would expect to be in a typical motocross game, right? Okay, so you know, in, in a lot of times, these milestone games, like there's a lot of aspects that like they they almost make a decent game, they really do. They get like right there to that point where they almost make a decent game, but then there's one aspect to it that is so bad that it just it completely blows out all of the potential of it being an okay AAA motocross game completely out of the water, right? So then you go to MXGP Pro, right? Okay, so now you've got a compound. Now you've got a supercross track on the compound. All the shit that we've been saying, you know, needs to be in the milestone games. Now they start doing all this, right? And But then they go in there and you literally pop off of a five-foot double for no reason on MXGP Pro. And you've got all these janky, like, sliding out in the corners for no reason. The, the physics of MXGP Pro, just, it, just those two things alone, the popping off for no reason, the sliding for no reason, and then falling off the bike for no reason, all that, like, trying to make it too much like a simulator, but it's not really a simulator top vibe, that totally killed MXGP Pro, right? Right there, right? And then we go to Supercross 2, okay? So now we've got more of the skill gap, more of the jump fun factor, all this other shit that would have made such a cool game, would have been really nice. We've got a, uh, you know, the compound in Supercross 2. Then what happens? Okay, well, the whips are literally the worst of any milestone game ever when Supercross 2 first came out. You literally, it was to the point where it's like it was pointless in even doing one. It was so bad. It was so bad. And the compound had all these blocked off areas you had to unlock later. So when you went to go ride on the free ride compound, you literally could basically go like nowhere. But the whips were so bad in that game. I swear to God, they were so bad. It just like felt like that aspect alone was was such a big culprit in what killed Supergrass 2 like when it first came out, right? And then the track editor still being so, so similar to the first Supergrass games and so lackluster improvements on the track editor for Supergrass 2 like we all wanted or expected it to be more than what it was. All those aspects came together to just make Supergrass 2 not really live up to what it should have lived up to. Then here we are in MXGB 2019. This game comes out, right? It's got the free ride compound with the super garage track, um, the outdoor track editor, all these things that should be like big potential MXGB 2019 has got all this potential. It could be a really good game. Then you get in here and literally every single jump in the game, you come off of the ground like three feet, right? Higher gravity, higher friction. You're barely moving. You're barely coming off the ground. You're slower. You're a slug kills the entire game. I swear to God, just those aspects alone, the rolled off jump faces kills the entire game. You see what I'm saying about these milestone games? It's like they get close, they'll get close, they'll do a lot of cool things, but then it's like they go in there and they just have one aspect that is just, it's just, you can't look past it. You know, they have one just so terrible, so backwards, so beyond unbelievably bad element or feature to the game or lackluster aspect to the game that it kills the rest of the game and that's what you're seeing with mxgp 2019 like and that's what i keep saying about how if mxgp pro would have had the outdoor track editor in that game and the supercross track of mxgp pro and it had slightly more of the physics of like MXGB 2019, not the quite as much the popping off of a five foot double, all the weird janky shit of MXGP Pro, right? If it had more of these kind of uh, physics, not all the way to this easy level, but more like this, right? And all of that, let's say it's got two out outdoor compounds or whatever, right? That's what I'm saying. Basically, if they were able to mix the best of both worlds of MXGP Pro and MXGP 2019, then you would have that worthy... 
MXGP game of what you expected at this point, but it's not. They're two split games. You've had to pay separately $60 a pop for them. And the, some of them have terrible things of certain aspects and some things that are okay or, or pretty good, but then the, the other game will have terrible aspects of that. What the other game did really good, this game does really bad, and what this game does really good, that game does really bad. You see what I'm saying? So it, it's like instead of Milestone just waiting, instead of trying to come out with a game every single two games every single year, you could have just had that one amazing game that came out instead of having both of these weird split games. You could add that one amazing game with that amazing track editor, the amazing physics, the cool jump fun factor skill gap, the whole nine of all of it. You could have had that had Milestone just been a little bit patient, but no. Nope. <laughs> it's like... God, how do you guys not get that? I don't understand it. But this is this is beyond pitiful for a Supercross track right here. This is like this is like the most simplistic, the most easy, the most no skilled. How do you go for making the Supercross tracks of Supercross two in the game just before this? Then you get to this, and this is what you give us as the one and only Supercross track in MXGP 2019. I don't give a shit how much of a Milestone fangirl you are. You will never be able to, to defend that right there. Ever. Never. Literally never. You can't defend it. It's impossible. It's just impossible. There's no more defense for this. So really, at the end of the day, it just comes down to, like, Milestone just... It's, it's at the core of the physics feeling of the bike... And they're weird, money-hungry, make-a-game, two games a year practices and, and the not carrying over content from the games before. They just go to a new game. Every bit of content in that game you, you played on just before it gets stripped away. So it's like this weird rinse and repeat, recycle, you know, over and over rehashed but then they'll make this one thing better, but then this other thing worse, so then it takes another game to then improve on that thing that they made worse before better, but then they made another thing worse, and it's just like this constant this constant thing from Milestone where they're, they're always trying to have to make these big, crazy, weird things like MXGP Pro to try to make it seem like it's something different to make you want to go in there and buy the game or MXGP 2019 to make you want to go in there and buy the game. You know, they've got to try to do all these extraordinary, extensive, weird-ass things to their games or nobody will buy them because they're coming out with them too often. But then in turn, that makes it to where they have to try to do all these out-of-the-box, crazy, bizarre, weird things versus just making a good, solid MXGP game like what they should be doing. They don't do that because they're trying to, they're trying to like cater to everybody they're trying to cater more towards the casual uh, you know motocross gamers and then on top of all that they don't give themselves enough time to even put the content in the games to even be worth anything you know they don't give themselves enough time to even like work out the kinks of their own you know their own actual evolving systems in their games. So then a game will come out feeling like complete shit in two or three categories. Then it takes a whole nother game to fix that. And then it's like, it's this constant, it's just this constant weird, like revolving door. You feel like you're never really going anywhere. You feel like you continue to pay in $60 every, every year, every year, and even more if you're buying DLC. Really $120 if you're buying both of their games. Really $200 if you're buying both their games and the DLC and all that shit. $200 a year on this shit. And it's, it's literally a 15 to 20% improvement per game, right? So you're having to get two, three, four games before you really get that like, oh, okay, that's actually really an improvement. You know, it's just such a repetitive, such a, a man. I mean, I just don't even know how, how you just, you just think, how could you get this far? And then the jumps in the filling in the skill gap is this boring. How, how milestone, how could you make the supercross track 
the only Supercross track in this whole game because they don't even give you the track editing pieces from the Supercross game in this motocross track editor. Make your own outdoor Supercross track or hybrid track. No, they don't even let you do that. Why the fuck not, Milestone? Why the hell is it only like little simplistic rolled off motocross jumps in your track editor pieces? You can't even make us your own custom Supercross track, even if they didn't want to put their own in there. See, they're not even giving you the ability to make your own, you idiots that are defending it like, oh, well, it's not even a Supercross game. So, you know, one Supercross track in there is fine, right? Well, wouldn't you at least think they would give you the ability to make your own Supercross? They're just so, they're so far, like, like... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's spreadsheets. I don't, there, it's time crunch for sure because they're making way too many games. So then half of their decisions make no sense at all. Half of the things that they do, it just doesn't add up at all. Like nothing they ever do is really actually thought out, you know, like a real solid developed game would be. There's always like five to ten aspects of a new Milestone Motocross game that just absolutely literally make no sense at all. Like how the fuck is that even that way in that game? It's because it was rushed, it's because it was forced, because they had to throw it in, shovel it together, you know, paste it, glue it together real quick, and then shove it out the door, you know? It's like, it's just so beyond me. We should have had these whip systems of MSGB 2019 back in the first Supercross game three games ago. That's when we should have had that whip, this whip system, right? It's like... Damn it, man. Like, you can give them quite a few excuses all the way up to that MXGP three point, but all the games past that, you, you you just can't really give the same excuses. Like, you can't do it anymore because now they have the time put in. Now they have the community feedback. Now they have what's, what's really known, what should be in these motocross. They've been around long enough now to where this shit is unacceptable at this point. Like no other way to say it just straight up unacceptable but really at the end of the day it makes me 2019 if i could just sum it up into one word it's just boring it's boring right at least with MXGP Pro, I know there was a lot of janky horseshit, and the whips are worse in MXGP Pro than they are in this game. At least it wasn't as boring, right? There's nothing you can... When a game is boring, and there's no skill gap to it, and there's nothing to it, there's nothing making you want to come back and play it, that right there alone is one of the worst things. You know, you can have some of the most janky on-bike feelings or weird things to the game or whatever, but at least if it has a little bit of fun to it and a little bit of skill gap, to it at least there's substance there right see to me mxgb 2019 there's literally no substance because there's nothing to it there's no jump fun factor there's really no skill gap there's no the track designs are just so lackluster there's just nothing to the actual game itself really like you know what i'm saying there's just nothing to it i'm never coming off of the ground that like you might as well just have you know flat tracking in a circle i mean what the fuck we're, we're this is a motocross game why am i not coming off of the ground that's one of the funnest aspects to motocross is jumping that's why you get into motocross is so you can not only you know bang out corners rail sand ruts hit cool ass roughness oh by the way there's no roughness in this game either or inside ruts or any of that either right but not only that but you know the whole ground aspect of real life motocross but then it's the whole entire could you imagine real life motocross just picture this you know real life motocross and supercross and all that right and for whatever weird dimensional reason we could just there was like so much gravity on the planet that we could never come off the ground higher than like 10 foot. Imagine what motocross and supercross would be in real life if that was the case. Well, that's MHGP 2019. There you go. Nothing more to say. Appreciate it. Be here all week. Either way, MHGP Pro, um, I feel like it's actually, a, it's, it's only better then MXGB 2019, because the sense of it's not quite as boring. That's the only thing that really makes it better. But in the grand scheme, I think they're they're somewhat even in a lot of areas, even though, you know, MXGB 2019 came out a year later, which puts even more of a criticism on this, you know, even more of a non-excuse on this, because we've literally went nowhere. We've went, you know, basically like 
one step forward with MXGP Pro and then two steps backwards with MXGP 2019. You see what I'm saying? Or it's like we went one step forward with Supercross 2 and then two steps backwards with MXGP 2019. So now we're even back to where we were at MXGP Pro or, or even a little further back. It's like we're getting absolutely nowhere. But I'll tell you what's getting somewhere is the money milestones getting out of your wallet. That's what's getting somewhere. That's what's actually moving and going somewhere and doing something. But as far as their actual games, no. We're we're still slugging along. Barely maybe a 10%, 20% improvement with each one of the games. When in reality, every new game, regardless of what it is, if it's a AAA title game, should be more of like a 50 to 75% improvement, you know what I mean? And if you want to go back to like the MX versus ATV days, like the difference between untamed to reflex was literally like a 200% improvement, right? So that's that's the difference, right? You go from untamed to reflex, 200% improvement. You go from each one of these milestone games and it's like a... 10 to 20 percent improvement so either way at the end of the day it's one of those things like if you already have mxgp pro do not buy mxgp 2019 there's literally no point there's no point if you already have supercross 2 do not buy mxgp 2019 there is literally no point at this point there's no point like you're you're literally just wasting money at this point you are just burnt you might as well Go wipe your ass with a $100 bill and flush it down the toilet because it's the same difference. It's the same difference, people. Like, you see what I'm saying? Um, but in the grand scheme scale, the whole point of this video, MXGB Pro versus MXGB 2019, a lot of the positives and negatives kind of put them real close in the same category. But if it comes down to which game I would rather play, I would rather play MXGP Pro, even with all the horse shit and all the janky shit, just because... It's at least somewhat of something substance. There's something to the jumping on some of the tracks. At least there's there's at least something to the game. You're at least coming off the ground on the jumps a little bit. At least you see what I'm saying? There's at least substance. There's at least a little bit of substance to the compound of MXGP Pro. So personally, I would rather play that game than I would this. But, uh, God, Milestone, you, you have got to change your ways. You have got to do something. You, you need to take two years off. Strip these physics down to the nuts, okay, down to the bones. Actually, strip them down to the bones, then burn the bones, then create a whole new revolution, right? It's just, it's, it's just sad that this is what it comes down to, you know, like... Milestone is just giving you the runaround. They're they're getting all the, every penny they can out of you. It's and I don't see how you can even disagree with that at this point. I really don't. I really don't. With this lackluster of of improvements to the game, it's just it's just sad, man. But either way, MXGB 2019. I, I'm just gonna say it right now. It's it's either on par or even worse with MXGP Pro, which is considered pretty much the worst milestone game ever. For and It's all in for what it is in the time frame of when it comes out and all that. You got to remember that, but like, it's not good, man. We, we've went nowhere here, right? We've went nowhere. We've went backwards if we went anywhere with MXGP 2019. That's just honest to goodness truth. So either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, my dudes.